Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to delineate multiple watersheds using a DEM. This is sort of a continuation uh, to the tutorial which I have already prepared, uh, which I will put the link uh, down in the description below. If you would like to know the steps in delineating a watershed in detail, I suggest you to check that tutorial out. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to go quite quickly over the steps and focus on the main part, which is uh, how to actually delineate multiple watersheds uh, just in one time instead of uh, doing, doing the steps uh, in a repetitive manner. So let's get started. As you can see, I have imported the DEM already. And the next step would be to go to the Arc Toolbox and go to Spatial Analyst Tools. Go to Hydrology and fill the DEM. So you just drag this DEM and drop it over here and the output surface raster, I'm just going to name this as fill DEM and click OK. Alright, now we have the fill DEM and the next step is to generate the flow direction raster. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on flow direction and as the input surface raster for this flow direction step, I'm going to drag and drop the field DEM. And the flow direction raster, I'm going to name that as flow DIR. All right, now we have the flow direction raster as well. And the third step would be to get the flow accumulation raster. So go ahead and double click on for flow accumulation and put the flow direction raster as the input and input raster for this step and i'm going to name this as flow accumulation okay now you can see that we have already gotten our flow accumulation raster i'm just going to make a few changes in the classifications over here uh, i'll go to symbology and instead of using a stretch method, I'm using a classified method and the number of classes, I'm going to reduce it num to two. And in the detail classification option, uh, I'm going to put 25,000 over here, just for the sake of isolating the low accumulations uh, in black color and uh, letting the program show us high accumulations in white color and click on apply. Okay. All right, now you can more or less uh, clearly see the, the river network. Now for this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, create multiple watersheds in locations where I see that as outlets of sub reaches. For example, this small tributary is created by its own sub catchment and the same goes for this small river as well. So I'm going to somehow delineate a multiple number of catchments, sub catchments uh, using, using a method which I'm going to explain to you right now. So in order to do that, first you have to create a new shape file which specifies the outlet of each sub reach. For example, if you are interested in getting the catchment corresponding to this tributary, you have to specify the outlet at somewhere over here, just before it uh, reaches the main river. And the same goes for the other, other branches as well. Similarly, if you're interested in getting the, the corresponding sub catchment for, for this particular river branch, you have to specify your outlet point somewhere over here just before it reaches the main river. So I'm going to create a new shapefile, a point shapefile, and create multiple uh, outlets, which I'm going to use for the delineation of the multiple watersheds. So first, let's go to my folder where I'm going to save the shapefiles. Right click, new, shapefile. This one, I'm going to name that as subcatchments point and my coordinate system is WGS1984 click OK now go to editor start editing click on subcatchments click OK go to editor again editing windows and create features 
just going to go ahead and get rid of this catalog panel and click on the sub catchments over here and under the construction tools click on point so now I'm going to zoom in and create a few points at the outlets of those sub, sub reaches, the tributaries. So I'm going to create one point over here and let's create the sub catchment corresponding to this river branch as well. So I'm going to specify the pore point at the outlet over here and I'm going to do the same for this river. And for this river as well. Okay, I think four subcatchments would be enough just for the demonstrating purpose for this tutorial. So after that, you go to editor and stop editing and save your edits. And now we are going to do one of the most important things in this tutorial that is uh, going to the attributes table of this shapefile which we just created. And we have to specify a new column and give unique ID IDs for each of these points. We have right now four points which are going to be correspondent to the four subcatchments that we are going to delineate. But as you can see the ID over here it's it's the same ID but we need to have actually unique IDs in order to get different subcatchments generated when we run the algorithm. So we go to uh, add field over here and create a new column called sub cat id and we leave the type as short integer okay it's saying that my okay it's saying that my my name is a bit too long so i'm just going to agree and now we go to editor and start editing and again click on sub catchments just because we are not allowed to edit edit these uh, these spaces over here so we have to be in the editor mode uh, in order to do the editing so select sub catchments and click ok and now for each point I'm going to give a unique value just uh, one two three and four okay now I'm going to stop my edits and save the edits okay now you can see that each pore point is actually represented by different sub catchment IDs all right you can close this one now and go to arc toolbox again and now we go with the watershed option click on watershed and as the first input raster we are we're supposed to input the flow direction raster so I'm just going to drag this one and drop it over here and here input raster or feature pore point data so we already created the pore point data and our points are actually the outlets of the catchments so I'm just going to go ahead and drag this one and drop it over here and here in the pore point field you have to make sure that you select the column that you created which which contains the unique ID numbers okay okay after that you go to environments over here and go to processing extent and select the extent to be uh, the same as uh, as the flow direction raster okay and now you can click ok All right, now you can see we successfully generated four subcatchments which corresponds to those four, four river branches, uh, the sub branches. And normally what we do now, now is in case if you need to do any further analysis on these, uh, on these subcatchments, you need to export these uh, subcatchments into a polygon because right now it's in a raster format. So we just go ahead over here and search raster to polygon and you can see the first option is actually to create uh, to convert the raster into a polygon so I'm going to 
drag this watershed flow raster and simplify the polygons as well. Check this box and click OK. Alright, now you can see that we successfully created four different polygons. Now if you want to do any further analysis, you can actually proceed with that now. So that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and if you have any further questions, just comment them down below. Thank you.